celebrating our independence, Obama did something. Yesterday, patriots throughout the country showed their appreciation for the freedoms we have. Unfortunately, former President Barack Obama decided to mark the holiday by proving once again that he has no respect for our nation. While speaking in Indonesia over the weekend, Obama took a shot at President Donald Trump by complaining about an aggressive kind of nationalism. He also took a moment to complain about the decision to back out of the Paris Climate Agreement. We start seeing a rise in sectarian politics, we start seeing a rise in an aggressive kind of nationalism, we start seeing both in developed and developing countries an increased resentment about minority groups and the bad treatment of people who don't look like us or practice the same faith as us, Obama said. Obama then made an ironic call for tolerance. What we will see is more and more people arguing against democracy. We will see more and more people who are looking to restrict freedom of the press, and we'll see more intolerance, more tribal divisions, more ethnic divisions, and religious divisions and more violence, he said. But he didn't stop there. He went on to criticize the temporary absence of American leadership on climate change. What do you think of Obama's comments? Is this hypocrisy at its finest? Melania Trump crushes Mika Brzezinski for attacking Barron, she just crossed the line. Over the weekend, MSNBC host Mika Brzezinski decided to bring 11-year-old Barron Trump into her feud with the Trump family. It didn't take long for Melania to let her know she had made a huge mistake. In a recent segment of Morning Joe, Brzezinski questioned the mental stability of the president. Later, she expanded her criticism to the entire first family targeting Melania before moving on to Barron. Brzezinski claimed Melania has the worst job in the country, arguing that Barron is the only reason she is remaining the first lady. I know Melania. I haven't talked to her in months, but if my gut is right, I don't think she's going to put up with it much longer, Brzezinski said. I know nothing. That's just my instinct, and I go with my gut, and my gut's always right. I'm just telling you. Melania's got the worst job in the country, and I don't think she wants to do it a lot longer. I think she will do it for as long as she has to for her son, and that's it. Melania responded to the accusation in a statement, arguing that Brzezinski does not know her and was simply using the first family to further her own agenda. It is sad when people try to further their own agenda by commenting on me and my family, especially when they don't know me, the first lady said. What do you think? Is it completely inappropriate for Brzezinski to bring a child into the disrespectful Disrespectful Cubs player flips off the president, watch what happens next. After the Chicago Cubs won the 2016 World Series, the team was given the opportunity to visit President Donald Trump in the White House. In a truly disgraceful display. One of the team's players decided to use this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to disrespect the commander-in-chief. According to reports from Daily Mail, Cubs center fielder Albert Tomaura, Jr. blatantly extended his middle finger while standing just feet away from Trump as he sat at his desk. In several photographs, you can see Amaura's hands in his pockets with his middle finger extended. Amaur exhibited very different behavior when he visited Barack Obama at the White House back in January. When visiting Obama Amaur displayed a positive attitude and dressed in business attire, rather than the button-down and jeans he wore to meet. Tom Selleck just got hit with a devastating blow. Please send your prayers. Hollywood icon Tom Selleck has become a hero of sorts among the conservative community for not being afraid to stand up what he believes in, even if it means risking his career in the liberal entertainment industry. Now, he has just made a tragic announcement that has many of his fans offering prayers. Selleck's publicist has revealed that the actor's beloved mother Martha Selleck passed away at the age of 96 years old. Martha was the president of Motion Picture Mothers Organization from 1998 to 2016. The organization makes charitable contributions to motion picture and television fund and runs a home and hospital for retired members of the industry. Selleck had a very close relationship with her. 
she's always been there and always been very fair, even when she said, wait till your father gets home, which usually was for good reason, Selleck said when he received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And she made a great cherry pie. There is no question that Martha raised a good man and a good Christian. Will you be sending prayer to Michelle Obama just started a war with Melania Trump, watch how she responds. Despite the many attacks directed at the president and the Trump family from the mainstream media, First Lady Melania Trump continues to be a picture of elegance and class. She knows when to be strategically silent and when she needs to come forward and be bold. Recently, she defended her husband's tweet to MSNBC host Mikhail Brzezinski by saying, when her husband gets attacked, he will punch back ten times harder. Now, it appears Michelle Obama's friends are going after the first lady directly. While Michelle is in Indonesia on vacation, she sent her friends to the White House to do her dirty work. Members of the liberal media attempted to knock Melania down for an outfit she wore. Melania Trump's style has come a long way since Donald's election campaign and we've seen her sporting much more tailored looks. But her most recent outfit to meet Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the White House, has been met with a bit of criticism, the Mirror reported. There are often subtle messages behind Melania's outfits and perhaps with the yellow hue, she wanted to convey a sense of intellect as well as encouraging cheerfulness and inspiration, the Mirror's report continued. Of course, the general public loved Melania's Ray Gowdy calls out Obama for what he's been doing all along. Barack Obama made headlines last week for jetting off to Indonesia for another luxury vacation. Now, Rep. Thray Gowdy is coming forward to say he doesn't think it's a coincidence that Obama has chosen to head off to a country with no extradition agreement with the U.S., right in the middle of an investigation into former Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Mad World News reported that Obama traveled to Indonesia right after the Senate Intelligence Committee opened an investigation into Lynch's handling of the Hillary Clinton probe. Now, Gowdy is demanding to know when Obama plans to come back to the U.S., let me hazard a wild guess, that there may be something else on that server that they didn't want law enforcement to see? Gowdy said. That is where you start. I don't like speculating but I have dealt in the past with victims who would not cooperate with investigations. Typically, the reason is, there is something else you do not want law enforcement to see. This comes as National Security Advisor Susan Rice is gearing up to testify before the House Intelligence Committee. The allegations that the Obama administration, including Rice, was behind the unmasking of individuals during 2016 is one of the biggest scandals of his time in office. Do you find it suspicious that Obama chose to go to Indonesia now? Or is this just a coincidence? Trump hand delivers the worst news of Michelle Obama's life. There is nothing Michelle Obama has been more proud of than her progress in the area of nutrition as First Lady. That's why it comes as a major blow that Donald Trump's Food and Drug Administration has just put her efforts on hold. According to reports, the FDA just announced an indefinite delay in the launch of nutrition fact labels that were intended to help Americans make healthier choices. The labels were championed by Michelle, and were designed to include a special line for added sugars and emphasize calorie content in large, bold text. The new labels were scheduled to roll out in July of next year, but have been pushed back indefinitely. After careful consideration, the FDA determined that additional time would provide manufacturers covered by the rule with necessary guidance from FDA, and would help them be able to complete and print updated nutrition facts panels, the FDA said in a statement. What do you think of the FDA's decision?